yeah, uh, good evening. Originally, I was going to actually stream this bit, but it turns out actually I might have to go AFK uh, during the stream, so I can't really leave you guys hanging. So, what uh, I'm going to do is actually uh, record this, uh, this bit so that afterwards I can just upload it to the YouTube. So, we start that again. Uh, finally, it's an honor to finally meet you. We go on our webs, we'll be fitting you and your contingent across the mountains into Golemar. For many of us, it's something of homecoming. Our illustrious founder was the only most notable imperial defector. For that reason, the company is committed to the success of this expedition. Our resources are at your disposal if there is aught that we might do. Uh, to be of further assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. If you are ready to depart, I will ready the engines. So, upon the boarding airship, several cutscenes uh, will play in sequence. It's recommended that you uh, set aside sufficient time to view the, these cutscenes in entirety. Now, I don't know how long these cutscenes are, but I may have to actually pause in middle of somewhere to do uh, to go AFK so well, let's see if I will be allowed to uh, pause or not and uh, hopefully the battle bit is where I can actually pause uh, into the battle associated log out from the game and the progress will be lost so basically if you log out you will be thrown back to the start okay let's go Let's see where do we go. Loading, it's loading. Should I actually pause this? There we go. Ilsabad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. I wonder Those if we actually ever get to jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? I wonder if I can ever see the uh, cloud whales rather than the cloud whales, the proper cloud whales rather than the uh, Bismarck. On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Why is he the only one who is really, really cold? Everyone else is fine. We've received word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They've sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they're led by Vagilia, legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the civil war. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. 
then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald. The very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament and imprisonment? Not impossible, but easier said than done in the heat of battle. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest? He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitech armaments, and once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. Oh, is it me or uh, Papalomo's voice actor is uh, for the voice actor for this guy, the white male guy? Because I haven't actually looked at the uh, the credits as to who is voice acting who, but I think Papalomo's guy is voice acting him, this guy. Now that one I'm pointing to. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. As for the scions, I ask that you lend your assistance where you deem it needed most. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. Why is the, my lips white as well now? Is the showing the cold? Because they should not be white. Meanwhile, it appears it's supply depot. Kaboom! Go on. Make it go, kaboom. No, kaboom. Where is my kaboom? Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they ask that we destroy the Imperial's toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. Fishgirl always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fire. What's the... Doesn't that look like an uh, icy mask in a fashion? That right there? So does that mean he, he has a switch allegiance? It's a necklace with a pendant on it. All right. Once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's magitech with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much needed upper hand. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see to it. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. Very well. I wish you the best of luck. 
Right, so does that mean we get to control Tancred? Because he is going the lone wolf. There is supposed to be a combat. And is this the first instance of the combat? I wonder. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. Uh, what's that? Use swift deception in... Ah, there we go. So, how do we go by... This is interesting, I'm liking this. So now, how do we get in there? Can I activate it while I'm standing behind here? Yeah. Three, two, one. Seven hells. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. What do we do? You do the bomb on the dog, okay? You need a timing for This is Tancred. The explosives are in place. 
Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. Seven hells. All right. Okay, so he doesn't go down. Can we do this and done? Yes. All right. Got detected what three times? Now we are the bunnies. You are returned, and none the worse for wear, to my co What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. So let's get this show on the road! And let the fireworks begin. The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now, if they haven't already. Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be all right, but... <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! Dogs oi, thing. oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose Uns, and we're as good as dead! Right. So we uh, met with the entire scout unit, eh? Come on, let me... Sh let me at him. Fighters, protect the others.
still using Hey, where is your glare man? You're a glare mage. Why the hell are you not using glare? A brief respite, but stay alert. Keep the carriages safe. The savior of Ishgard is here! Seriously, dude. A fine display, but the other carriages are still in danger. Go on ahead. We'll hold the line. Come on. We're the only ones still struggling. Yes, you are. Time we put our backs into it then. I've been itching for a good scrap. Come on, why are you hard casting? I thought I had a uh, fast cast on it. Really rest stick on there. This is this is bad. There we go. Here comes the mini bus. We're fine and ready for more. Hear that? Come on. Get to the front and turn the tide. Bailey, how far is the vanguard? Come on. Let me add him. Let me add him. Oh, I see the tower over there. I see she's having fun. Removed from the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. 
It's nothing that won't heal in time. The trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is a path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Ah, little plan. Meet the big spear. That's for Gilia. Damn it. I need to help the others take her down. There's no end to them. I was wondering when you'd turn up. Yeah, I'm here with my lightsaber. No let's go. Now. Come on, let's show them what we're made of. We have them now. Forward. Where's Regalia? Regalia, right. or whatever her name Let is. Them have it. Oh, they are actually gonna kill me. I don't actually do stuff, eh? All right, who stole my LB? That's a raging bull. Come on, if you want an LB, leave it to the red mage. One thing we'll uh, specialize in blinding people, and we need to take them out of commission. behind oh she's doing LBs what's going on here Let's see.
got to start doing being in the corner on her own. Finding on some uh, Imperial. I am getting a uh, brilliant conviction, but why am I getting brilliant conviction if this is the first time I'm doing this? Normally brilliant conviction is uh, when you fail. Did they change that now? So you get brilliant conviction the first time that you do it. I need to actually keep her alive. Tremble before the sun. Ah, uh, really this one. Oh wait, need to heal. May your screams fill the air. Oh, okay. So we need to actually destroy them. Alive. All right, that is done it. That is being sad. What you only get twenty six thousand from there? Ah. Come on. Reclaim yourself, then we will fight again, to the death! Sadu her tomb! <laughs> Little sad! That was the last of them. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. What of the... Hmm, outmaneuvered but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. Yeah, I see that tower. That's a triple tower. So cold and unforgiving. Thus spoke Emperor Solus as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavorsi after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth, freezing, hungry, desperate, hated. That's an interesting drawing. First thing I read is to remind me of is the, the tower from Lord of the Rings. Forsaken. It reminds me of the tower from the Lord of the Rings. I know it might not look like it, but yeah. Hmm. 
In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astrum Era, a young Negatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitek Revolution. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Cerulean? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed, bitterly so. Tell us about Gallimard. We are here in Gallimard at last. It's been what? Uh, we are in 6.0? Yeah, I always wondered what Gallimard Not looked so like from, from 1.0. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary point. base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone. Broken child, how about? Uh, broken glass? Anyway. A tune first. That was more uh, shorter than the... I thought it would be. Can broken glass, eh? So be it. Ah, oh, look. Moongas are already here. Menders and junk moongas are uh, at last. Right, so let's have a look. Elise, what you gotta say? It shouldn't be long before we... have decent camps, so hel many helping hands. I was concerned that a snow might hinder our progress, but for well, Ishgardian uh, friends, I uh, used to work condition like this. Let's go back in there. Yes, there we go. So where is everyone else? I guess Tancred is gone to scout, and oh yeah, so I have a mount here. Is there? Oh, there they are. The big wigs are here, eh? Let's see what they have to say. Uh, Regili is in our care, along with the rest of the tempered. Glory to Gullamard, glory to Gullamard. They still whisper in their sleep, even as they writhe in pain. The one for uh, taught me a lot about military strategy during the exercise. This infringes coordinating units uh, with vital different capabilities, surveying, securing hostile train, that sort of thing. Now I have the chance to put that his teaching in practice. 
we asked the other work members uh, and some of our other comrades to stay with the airships in the events we are discovered. We must be ready to move them swiftly to safer location. Uh, this is all remains of a letter room. Homes become empty husks, and if this is the state of the flying villages, get to think that what has become of the capital. Once everything is in place, we can discuss our next move. Temple soldiers are sleeping soundly while they undergo treatment. They are too many to attend at once by another healers. We'll see to all eventually. House bells. Why not house bells? Uh, this place is bloody freezing. Rather, we try to stop most of us in a storm than uh, suffer this cold any longer. Anyone who can spare a swig of rum? That's what straighten me out. Okay, he wants rum. I don't know. I think we need some sort of different minion. Oh yeah. I wish I could have the boats of them uh, together. The twins. So I've got a twins in here as well, so. But yeah, that's the sister, that's the brother, isn't it? I'll dismiss for now. Uh, so, and for now, yeah, let's continue. In spite of the obstacles we face, our plan proceeds apace. Just a little further, and we will reach capital itself. Still, we must uh, must mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as camp has been made uh, fit for purpose, we are to discuss the course of action with Lucia. Would you mind asking Ishtola and Graya to join us in the building northeast of the camp? Alize and I will meet you there. Okay, where are they? Where are those kitties hiding? Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Meeting, yes, I'll make my way over there once my head is, has cleared. In truth, I've been feeling out of sorts since we arrived. The air is thick with palpable aura of malevolence. Tis the monstrous rubber on the horizon, jagged hedges on the holy. Even at this distance, this presence is overwhelming. Uh, much like the sensation I felt uh, in the Tower of Zoth, only far more terrifying. It's a flow unceasingly towards it, converging into swelling mass of unfathomable power. For a blessing, the constant chill in the air is helping to anchor my senses in here and now. Tell others I shall be on wrong with you for a moment. Is where's the other kitty gone? Oh, the good old faithful, eh? Uh, used repairs to note that most of them have been quartered inside the nearby buildings are receiving treatment as we speak. I do have a feel a small amount of guilt for commanding, commanding civilian homes. The occupants may be long gone, but everything is exactly as they left it, considering the length of time that has clearly passed since one would expect them to find them ransacked strangely. There is no sign of any having been stolen. It's possible that everyone fled at the first sign of trouble, though it seems to me they left uh, far too many useful possessions behind. I, although there is no Exclusive admins, I suspect they were tempered. Sorry, I was merely thinking a lot. 
Eventually, I mean, think I will make my way there. Yeah, they were temples, all right. I got some birdie, birdie, birdie. I got some birdie. And give us a sign. we will begin. Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city, for therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porpsy of my own, assuming you can spare it. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with ceruleum eaters that can keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be necked. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinist will assist them in the repairs. So, ghost in machine, or ghost in a shell? Preference? Anyone? The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophoroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmatian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well, now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. Everyone's got scouts, come on. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. 
Should be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. Hold on a moment. Isn't he wearing Tancred's coat? Hello? That looks like a gunbreaker coat. White spurs. That leaves us with guard duty. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphina. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhine. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. I'm so tempted to uh, go for the third option. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the Fury bless and keep you. Ah, uh, Fury is not the one I want. I think I've got the Nafika? I think I remember why I picked. It's been years since I did it. Nice to Long loading times. Ah, Palak. Palak the Scholar. That's one I picked. Oh, you went at the meeting. What the hell have you been doing? I remember uh, before Calamity, uh, the what's the place where the Ishgard is? Uh, what is it called? Uh, hold on, hold on. Cursus, yes. This all used to be one area where you could freely travel. But you could not go into the city, but you could actually travel to this city, this entire area. From starting from here to over there, it was all one zone. And it was green. Grass, basically, uh, plains, the way the SM step, steps are right now. That's how it was, but now it's almost all covered in snow. Well, actually, it's all, it is all covered in snow, yeah. It was green plains before, man. I remember we used to come here to hunt a notorious monster. Or a world boss, as you would call it. I've never thought myself uh, such an explorer, though I suppose my adventures have taken me all sort of strange and disappearing with that in mind. Burning ice field. Should be a simple feat. Well, hello. You gone and had just soul sucked out and went to a different world. Gods be good. Uh, if it's this cold with Tataru's clothing, I dread to think how we'll fare without it. I must remember to thank her late next time we meet. It makes me realize, too, that while people in Galman have spent their whole lives uh, in the conditions like these, they would be hard pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them quickly. So this is, uh, so it's into Alban Rhyme we go. But where do we even start looking 
in such a place. Uh, used to think the same. Uh, what for? Chumps? Been given something to do, have you? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. Sounds like rather a uh, tall order. <coughs> Since uh, you ask, we are scars the Alban uh, Rainfield survivors. What? When they're on the ice fields? On an off chance uh, you find someone? You'd take forever to finish job without the uh, benefits of my expertise or more specifically my telescope. Come friend, I know just the spot to begin our search. Am I going on a top of tower? He probably regret he'll, I'll probably regret this, but we may as well humor him. Are we going on top of that tower? No? Oh, hello. I see you. Up we go. Up we go. Why can't you? <laughs> hey, I got my tank. Boom. Let's have a look. What do we spot here? I spy with my little telescope a massive sheep thing. Or maybe a the card, no? Not what we are after either way. Is that the Etacrat or just a mean surprise? Uh, Atlanta is no snow, but low. What do I see over yon hillock? It's a mis no mistaking it. That's a girl. Survivor, show me. Over there behind the uh, tree. She looks run running away from something though. Not sure, uh, don't, surely not. She wouldn't even know that we are here unless she had a telescope like mine. Ah, I can tell. She's wearing plain green dress, rather fetching one at that. She'll be long gone by the time we get anywhere near here. We should be able to follow her foots. At, uh, let Lucia know that you're heading oh, and take these warming uh, tinctures with you. Booker must be uh, chilled to the bone if not on the verge of freezing to death. That's actually very thoughtful. Thank you, but won't you need some for yourself? No, no, I'll be fine. As men of chivalry, my honor demands uh, I do no less, and lest we forget the very reason we are here to protect those in need. I don't know why I started going space voice. Nah, nah, nah. Now, go ahead. Now go and Godspeed! I think the twins and I are gonna end up in a trap. It's gonna be a trap. Trap, trap, trap. It always ends up being a trap. It's a trap, I tell you, it's a trap. Leading east. East we go, east we go. Seriously, this bird. Yeah. Uh, 
was we're heading to his building. New label here. This uh, place was used to by those involved with the extracting cerulean. We're getting closer. I'm sure of it. At first, we thought uh, she'd gone inside the building, but the door doesn't look like having opened some time. She might be nearby, so we'll keep looking around here. Then again, it's also possible that she ran. I right past this place. Mind you searching up ahead. What do we have here? She's over there as Talia. She might be over there. On the other side of the building. What do we spy? What is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, I thought so. So we follow her at a certain distance, but not to get too close to her. Must not get spotted. Let's hide behind the rocks. That's someone I uh, ugly looking thing. How far will this be? Yes. Ah, she saw me. Oh well, got too close. Guess should have stayed behind the tree. Come on, little boxy, get me back over there. We try again. Yada yada, let's go. Yeah, but the only question is what is her detection range? That would have been nice just to know, but yeah. Either way, this is an interesting uh, twist to it. Tailing the key tails without getting spotted. sees out in a cone.
interesting. So I take it she's going into the house over there. The house over there. That one. Yeah, I made it. Hey, girl. How you doing? I, we didn't. I promise you. On the one of uh, of the other reasons, we came to find out what happened here. In fact, the Telefroy are the one to blame. They are the ones uh, who laid waste to Galmas, and they won't stop until they destroy the entire world. They are the enemy of our enemy. Uh. On our way, we encountered Imperial soldiers who have been made into their trolls. Those poor souls are now in our care. We are striving to cure them of their affliction. You are the first person you have met who isn't already enslaved. How were you able to escape Telefroy's influence? Are there any others like you? I'm sorry, but I don't mean to overwhelm you. But let us start uh, with the introduction. Can you tell me your name? I, my name is Licinia. As far as I, how I managed to stay sane, I've been asked uh, myself the same question ever since the, that night. The the roar and that terrible roar, then and then the screams. I was uh, screaming too. I think I am not sure. I can I can't remember. Then they, uh, came the silence. Everything was still. It was like waking from a nightmare. I thought that uh, maybe the fighting had stopped. So I stepped outside. And if your hells are real, I saw one that day. I ran past friends, people I have known uh, all my life. Eyes that uh, vacant, that staring at the sky. Others were mad and violent. I saw them struggle with the soldiers, but didn't stay to watch. I fled as far as my life would take me. Do you have family here? Is this your home? Uh, 
Uh, no, this is uh, Victor's spoils. I mentioned it uh, for a child soldier, or it was, but now me and me and my and me and few others are um, borrowing it. As for the explosives, I was making that up. I just wanted to keep everyone else safe. I didn't know if you were <laughs> to tell you the truth. Our supplies are running low. If you said you were here to uh, help, can you? Of course, whatever assistance we can provide, we will. Thank you. I better tell the others first. Uh, they'll wait here. <laughs> Is that? This is everyone. Uh, Licinia says uh, you can be trusted, but these are desperate times. We'd be fool to let foreign troops into our home. Having said that, we, uh, you provide us with means of heating a place as a sign of goodwill. Perhaps we can take your word, you for your word. Uh, this is too much to ask. Let us uh, then leave it us be. Time to put my fire uh, wood gathering skill to use. Could you provide the spark with little magic? Uh, we'll be burning. Uh, we'll have fire burning in no time. Uh, may we build in the under that gazebo? The what? You mean the bower? Yes, yes. Uh, do as you will. I don't like it one bit. Come on, give me a level. Where's my level? Uh, what, um, what, 900k off the level, okay. Two quests more. 525 legs. Mm, sorry, I was. Uh, I'm still finding it hard to come in terms uh, with all that. What's happened now that you are here? Though I'm hoping things might change for better. You know, I have worked up quite a sweat from all the running about, so I'll leave this uh, space around the leave space around fire for others. You can tell uh, they are far worse dead than me, and we are uh, planning to look for somewhere warmer uh, or with more food. But they're not going to anywhere until we nurse them back to health, uh, which I don't know how to do. Is there anything you can uh, do to help them? What are you planning, woman? What are you planning? Say anything. All's well, all's well with the food in my belly and a song in my heart. I can feel my fingers again. What they need most is a decent meal. The food back at the camp, but uh, there's a distance to uh, consider. Uh, I can treat their frostbite and their wounds. But it will take time for the fire to do its work. Now, would you be so, uh, it would be a good uh, occasion to make a humanitarian uh, tincture, the ones that can warm the body inside out. Would you make sure that everyone gets one? I suspect the ones. Fire dies, they will return with vengeance. Uh, 
warming temperature. I never heard of such a thing. No harm in trying. But tell me, have you ever uh, heard of uh, of the city? So calling it that seems uh, absurd after what happened. But nothing, it's nothing but a uh, burning root. A few buildings still stand. Ring uh, offer no more than a major protection from the wind and snow. Food protection, water purification, and magic sack uh, that sustained us uh, have come to grinding halt. But the uh, machina that remains operational cannot uh, run for the lack of cerulean, of course. Cerulea legany is full of the stuff, but for all the good it does, us, no one knows here knows the first thing about extracting or refining one. All's well, all's well, uh, yes, never better. What, uh, sweet, what sweet liberation is this? Is it poison by any chance? Huh, this was a joke, ha 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 ha, ah, if I laugh, this, uh, this, uh, it, that I may not be. So said the poet, at last my tears would freeze on my cheek, and they fell. Uh, we have blessed them uh, to bear witness to the fall of great empire. But our brethren lie dead or live as puppet of flesh. First uh, came the war, then came the roar. When the morning came, Gullamald was no more. In the cacophony of gunfire, explosion, screams, was our uh, beloved capital raised to the ground. From the rubble rose the uh, disheveled remnants, their lavish, lavish finery caked in ash as they shoveled mindlessly towards the palace. Each burning fragment of stone or metal, an offering perhaps to architecture of destruction uh, a hopeful few tried to reason with the deranged only to reason for their kindness but i knew better than to plead with their horde i f uh, fled with my health if not consciousness preserved preserved now i wait with my fellow cowards of for our final judgment what you want? Is the compass no longer in use? Thank you. I can't discard it. Okay. I think you may as well drink it, I suppose. Is that radio? This, it's a radio. You don't have them uh, where you come from, I take it. We use them to listen to messages sent by others, uh, even over great distances. Uh, there are different types, uh, but this model is far more uh, popular, made with the quasi components crafted with the finest ore sourced from uh, local Aminos, it is. Not that it's useful since the captain fell into the ruin. People at the broadcasting station must have either fled or ended up uh, like the others because all we hear is the same music being played over and over again. Home beyond the horizon. In ode to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral, uh, ancestral homeland, Locos Emenos. Uh, we may have founded an empire in these frozen ways, but we always hope to take back what was uh, once ours. It is a, sol a solemn reminder that uh, though we must suffer great hardship, better days will surely come. Despite everything, I believe the empire varies, yet lives. Emperor varies, yet lives. That he speaks to us through our radio. 
uh, it was a cunning strategy faking his murder uh, he must have foreseen his uh, catastrophe chose then to conceal himself uh, that he may one day make uh, his triumphant return yes yes the I'm sure of it Emperor Varys would not uh, be defeated so easily headache time no not a headache time She, she knows more than what she lets on. This, this senior knows more, quite a lot more, I think. What is it? Uh, drink this. Drink this and be merry. I think you will save it for later. Actually, I have a few things to ask you. Are you part of the group at staying at the Letarium? I saw uh, Legastus, uh, uh, Legastus, uh, wait, Gilia's troops are it to us, Magna Glaciers. Have you encountered them? Can broken glass you call it? Uh, and Vigilia and Hermine are there now. Hmm. So how did you read uh, Magna Glacis? Did you cross the mountains on foot? We flew. Airships. Then there might be a way to. Uh, Lincia, Lincia. Where is everyone? Is something the matter? A voice from inside, you must be imagining thing. Everyone's out there. Perhaps the baby Alamas has found his way into the house. It wouldn't be a first time. With that, the soldiers have scared them off. While animals have been roaming close to the settlement, so. Uh, some have been known to attack people too. I just uh, had an idea. If you and yours are strong enough to defeat uh, Legacy, I'm sure the beast wouldn't pose a threat. And she I knew she's hiding something. You mind continuing helping us? Perhaps you could head to the other side of the lake. Uh, there's a small group of uh, trappers living there. People whose job was to extract cerulean, but they still do, uh, from what I can tell. I've already tried asking if they would share the fuel with us, but they are not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange, a uh, lot of food, and that's something we don't have and can't go and can't go on our own. On top of that, even to reach the den, we had to have to make our way past all those creatures. Uh, would you be willing to go in our place? Uh, we only need enough cerulean to last until the but they are strong enough to travel to your camp. If the offer still stands, that is. Oh, and I don't expect you to give up uh, your own supplies, but there might be another way to pay the trappers. Uh, if you send him, you need send him, you'll have. Leave it to me. Thank you very much. Reach trappers, then you'll have to cross the lake. Uh, the ice is thick enough uh, to support a person's way, but you are going to take a uh, risk you need to long way around. Finding the entrance can be a bit tricky, so it's easier to just look for some one standing guards outside. However, if you decide to head there, please be careful. I think this is the guys hiding in there uh, whoever's house he was he's still in there the girl is more than meets the eye man the girl is more than meets the eye she doesn't care about the three that she brought out I think she cares about the fourth one that's inside 
as she's not willing to tell who he is. Yes, that's the extraction plant uh, rig. Was a plant, but no, that looks like a rig, the oil rig. The the exactly like the oil rig. Yeah. Who goes there? How did you find us? Well, you're standing guard outside. What do you mean? Uh, I stand out like a sword somehow. It's a few words over the Victor's point. I haven't given away our location. You uh, never found us. Those stuck up our souls. I uh, thought that they could uh, come bouncing in here, demanding Srillium for nothing to offer in return. Huh? Look at uh, like Steve who's on the other foot now. Captain's gone to shy. So they thought to. Uh, sending you to negotiate. I know your game. Sell sword. They think we'll give in to intimidation, but they've got another thing coming. You could have just talked about it. Can't we just talk this over, boys? Stop, consider me intimidated. There you are. Uh, just after you... Someone must have let slip that I have little experience in transporting barrels of um, ceruleum. So this is Trappers then well, then after you, I think there is more to girl than meets the eye. She, I think she wants to capture Alpha now? Might do. Who are you and what happened to the guards? Well, I beat the crap out of them. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why the hell would you pass up uh, the chance to put the Imperial bastards to the sword? That being as none of uh, you are Garlean, Garlean, and you uh, bought you bought here uh, from other land. Uh, Gar Albania, uh, Yansia, Bojan, Demacia, named uh, by a few. Some dragged here against our wheels. Other f uh, fed uh, bullocks. But the bare life uh, all put to work extracting Cerulean. All given uh, esteemed title of Arn, placing us firmly at bottom of the rung of the ladder. But the old hierarchy means nothing uh, in new government, uh, says we. But the only thing that we can escape, uh, that's escape uh, more or less unscathed, is Cerulean. Inginis, still sustaining us even with our uh, paymasters out of picture. But we hear you are experts in drawing up Srillium at from the bottom of the lake, but how can you do that if it's frozen over? Wouldn't well, you like to know? That's trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as if Srillium is used to. Uh, much these days uh, what's with the city in ruins we take enough to power our heaters and save surplus for later though it helps to save us cold but it does start off about our hunger unless we can trade it anyway speaking of which uh, be sure to tell your uh, contingent that we got Srillium by a barrel full uh, if they're interested we'll exchange it for whatever provisions they can spare 
can certainly ask, but if you are free to go now, why carry on living here? Free to go, go where? Even if you manage to uh, get back to our homes, there will be nothing left of, uh, uh, for us thanks to the Empire. The knowledge, the skill we acquired working here would be practically useless outside uh, Galamath. So we're staying we're here for the time being as long as we need. Uh, there's a need for Cerulean. We'll find our way, find a way to get by, even if Galamad, as we know, it has gone for good. Gone for good. Headache time! No? Surprisingly, I'm not getting a headaches as of today, as of uh, Envoker. Come here from across the uh, ice fields, have you? Then you better hope you weren't followed by the crazed soldiers, or we'll be done for. Adib, uh, bloody hell did you find us then? Who are you? Uh, if you're wondering why we uh, post guys outside, it's because we had trouble with other refugees. I didn't mean the ones that the victors for some of them comparing weapons uh, and won't take no for an answer. As for uh, two guys you met on the way in, I let them uh, what we have this. I tell them what we have discussed once they recover from the beating that you gave them. Come to think of it, maybe. We should uh, ask your contention to some, uh, send some bandages and healing bombs. Regardless of what the ill spot contention does uh, for the people of Ghana, the Empire itself is already single apart. For many, uh, that would be the cause for several liberation. For others, their whole uh, way of life uh, will be turned upside down. After all, the uh, trust is committed uh, in the Empire's name. Perhaps it is for the best uh, that is uh, consigned to, the, uh, to history. But what of the ordinary people, their lives, uh, their story? Should they be forgotten too? I suppose uh, there will be plenty of time to ponder about that later. For now, let's see what's uh, good about getting some Cerulean. The fire we built the uh, Victor's Spur won't last forever. It's too dangerous for the Lincinia and others to search uh, for more ki uh, kindling. And if we can get them uh, some cerulean, they'll be more or less for thing for them to worry about. For a time at least. So you come seeking Srilium, have you? What those uh, pure bullets up the victors' uh, spoils sent you? To turn their enemies for help, they must be more desperate than uh, I thought. Then again, uh, Lindsay got a, li a little sister to think of uh, about sister, but when it's uh, with Sinia and three men. It's possible that she died from whatever uh, was ailing her. If she needed uh, treatment, I doubt there is any way uh, to get it around here. I may have uh, refused Lucinia f uh, first, thinking that she'd come back with something to exchange, but I can spare uh, them a bottle uh, worth of Cerulean. Consider it a reward for introducing me to the rest of your contingent. Be sure to send them uh, our way you here. I can't uh, for my life have been seeing why Lucinia would keep her sister secret from us. But we can ask her about that after we deliver this Cerulean. Come on, let's hurry back. Yeah, I thought so. She's hiding something. Peggy! It's a Peggy, sis! It's a little Peggy.
you in build for uh, running on ice pay and build for running on ice and what the hell are you overgrown rose that's definitely something not rose anything but rose See how empires fall and crumble. <laughs> There's a player on a thing for a moment. They are some sort of monster there. Seems like people are gone. This is right, it's too quiet. We ought to, I would have thought that Alfredo would still be reading them by fire, but they have nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house uh, while you look outside. Can't, go far, can't have gone far. As for now. Damn it, damn it all. What the hell happened to Joe Street? What the hell happened there? They asked me, uh, they asked me to help uh, carry the supplies, but when I followed them back here, they attacked me. Caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. I feared. They feared rather worse than me. You can't fool us. We know, we know you what you are about. Vultures, that's what you are. Waiting uh, in wings for us to show weakness. Then you swoop. Here to help, but trot, I'll ploy. Makes, uh, make, uh, to make us look. Let you in, put ourselves at your mercy. Put us in chains, steal our lanes, get your revenge. You're wrong. That's not uh, what any of us want. Uh, save the arguments for later. We got a bigger problem. Uh, I found empty medicine bottles. Uh, a bed that was still warm. It's true. Uh, uh, Licinia was hiding her sickly sister inside the house. But now there's no sign uh, of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. If you think uh, I'll tell you, you're a fool. I never give up my people. We are trying to help them, you idiot. Her little sister's ill. Empty bottle proves it. So medicine ran out. She put uh, in her pocket so that I'll to make it easier to carry or to avoid or sound of uh, clinking glass they be base everywhere how can you let them go alone protect them from you you invade our homeland uh, since if it's the same sorcery you used to slay our countrymen Garland a garland should sooner die to suffer the insult. Better uh, for them to flee, keep the uh, purity intact, than to corrupt your wild magics. We were waiting, waiting for Charles to free them, since the moment you arrived. This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how uh, Licinia and her sister will react when we find them, but we find must find them. Go on without me, both of you. Um, first need to tend to my injuries and theirs. I will join you in such life after. All right, be careful. Uh, we'll do our best to find them quickly. 
There is one part out of here and that's where we'll stop. She was up to something. Two sets of uh, footprints. Uh, young women judging by size. Definitely them. Come on. Come on. Are they getting attacked? I want them to be getting attacked. So I can sweep in and rescue them. They are on the ice sheet, are they? Yep. Being a goody two shoes as a warrior fly. Oh, so they headed for the cave. Okay. Hill stops at the frozen lake. Perhaps they chose this route not to leave footprints. I can't think of any other reason. Look, uh, like this uh, place is going to be I can only imagine how hard must be for a link to cross ice. We can really do with Elfron's help, but we can't afford to wait for him. Let's split up and look for clues. I see. There we are. This sounds to be something. Uh, smell faintly of alcohol. Thin coating of uh, dead indicates it has been not uh, been here for some time, but unlikely to have been connection with Lucina and her sister. Okay. Hey, I got a ghost. Hey, kitty, kitty. Oh, it's not kitty. Hey, girly, girly. Oh, there's a second on top. Don't need to. Fresh blood. Yar, I see blood. Uh, judging from the amount, Victor may have been severely wounded. Trail of blood uh, southeastward. Should I switch over to healer? Then again, my healer is uh, not uh, level 83. It's 82, 83. Two bodies are already cold. Uh, don't need that. Right, let's see. Stage to it. Blood trail. We found one. They were attacked. No. Wouldn't 
safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have... I... We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. Oh, this is a bit from the uh, trailer. That that sentence was was from the trailer. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. Yeah, that makes it interesting. Improvises his uh, voice. There must have been something we could have done, but what? Could we have never come here? Would they still be alive if we hadn't? No, but that won't change anything. If we had the chance to turn things over. But it's too late now, too late by far. We already caused enough harm here. Let us return to the camp before we cause any more. As for those inside the house, we should send someone to take care of them, someone who isn't us. All we can do for now is to make report to Lucia and do everything in our power to prevent further tragedy. Uh, so let us uh, linger here no longer. Come. Music out the eight thirty. It's a current as well, so I. I don't know how to. I'll have to look around that to how do you get onto the pipes. The eight current. Ah, that'd be fun again. Would you mind giving a. Uh, uh, Lucia for report. Uh, we must have uh, forgot to send some of our allies to represent. Uh, we still uh, owe them for the bottle of uh, cerulean. Treatment for temporary is, is processing, proceeding as well uh, as can be expected. But if there is anything to report, you will be sure to know. Though I gather that you have a report you're, you're on to deliver. Is there something the matter? Twins look at our swords, you seem to be bit off. Pokemon seems that three of you appear to be rather uh, drained since you returned. 
there ought to be might of resistance. So that means they finish the primary search of survivors but refrain from saying that more than that. Clearly they are reluctant to provide details. Why ask your account? Yeah, we found survivors but they don't trust us. They want rather kill themselves to trust us. Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlian and accept our offer of assistance. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister? I'm sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis Maxima identified. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events at the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth, or a close enough approximation? Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. While some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances, one after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus, like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies, and then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Sosgalvus is murdered. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession. And in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. So no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the First as well. It would seem so. Though the Popularis determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So Pandaniel, in the guise of our city, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. 
One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacials. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of Garlemil. This sounds awfully familiar. We have something to show you all. Varys spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. We are of one mind, then. The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. A picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. No wonder Licinia kept it close. My friends, I must... A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made whole. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. I think we do. Who do we have here? Garlians? Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? I am Lucia Junius, a temple knight of Ishgar. Julius Pianobanus, and that's all you invaders will get for it. We are not here to invade Garlemald, far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know, and that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such length. <clears throat> if it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, but no more than three. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... Please allow me and Alizé to act as envoys. May I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Garleans face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to... 
make them better. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna say it that one. Definitely gonna say it that one. Yeah. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. Couple of children and what? A cell sword. Is this not in the least? You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. Oh. Uh, Gunblade? Gunblader? Uh, I worry the Nazi best state of mind to volunteer for this undertaking, but what is done is done. I know you'll take good care of them. And yourself, I trust. They are resilient to face hardship you as well. But good attention and stubborn determination of all alone will not be enough to bring our mission to successful conclusion beyond your guard. Gilles Pernarvanus. It's unusual for one so young to achieve such a high rank. Very unusual. His uniform identifies him as, as a member of First Legion, which has particularly fierce reputation. Whenever his superior, whoever his superior uh, may be, I advise you to approach them with caution. We captured the boy as he was about to make off with our food. We, uh, he must be very hungry to take the risk. Maybe we should give him something to eat to reward him for his boldness. Nah. I know, I know. I won't uh, bring back Lucinia Lis or her sister. Taking the same risk makes uh, making the same mistake is possible, but better than uh, to try than uh, try give up every time. Perhaps it's unwise to volunteer for a mission so soon on uh, previous disaster. Nevertheless, I shall not squander this opportunity. The only task of keeping watch over provisions would not. Normally befit the sun, but these being unusual circumstances, I'll let no man take that uh, which uh, is not uh, by right stairs. Do you feel well, have you? Uh, you've been received as an invited guest, and so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette, conduct yourself accordingly. Your safe return. Takes precedence above all. Remember, else Tanker in particular will be very sick if you are gone too long. May Fury watch over you. You, the ch you and children, Eddie, will explain in the route when you are outside the camp. If anyone attempts to follow, I will judge. Yes, uh, all right. I will expect no less for to have your full cooperation. You better not try to harm the kids. You will have my wrath. Uh, what do you think their headquarters are? I assume there are a few others besides him. This commander he mentioned. We will only do as instructed. After all, this is where uh, we have been striving for ever since we arrived. Alright, this is uh, far enough. Listen carefully. Well, head over that hill. Follow the road until we reach uh, Liminal Station 4. Children in lead, I want uh, 
you where I can see you. We do have name, you know. I am, let's say, he's alpha node. And, but last, on least, there's been like... No matter alpha node, I'll, I'll say, uh, we'll watch road ahead while we bring up rear. There's a line if there being any many dangers, so you uh, so you are to run, uh, not sun to run towards the station. If you ever think about going uh, for your weapons, uh, deals off should any creature by our way, we go uh, around them. Make ready for dash. Uh, yeah. See the ogre over there. That's the station, I presume. Oh, he's a Jotun. Ah. Level 82. Blue flame, but then red flame. I remember fighting Jotun of uh, red flames. In the dungeon, I think. I think that guy was called Jotun. We're here, I think. Not, it's nothing like the one in Talanant. Is the first stop that is? Would look like your. Uh, fans knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? Now we uh, are stopping here so we can check for pursuers. Since it appears you kept your side of the bargain, we can carry on. I still think it's gonna be a trap. I wonder what uh, sort of condition uh, Julius and his comrades are living in. If they have any sense, they'll have picked up some better, like Victor's spoils, to take shelter. We are getting close to the Imperial capital. I, one can still call it that. Pretty terrifying sight to behold. And I'm gonna stop this bit here and start a new one because it's becoming uh, becoming too long. It's over two hours already.